Now, we come to the equation of motion. When I say motion, it is meant for straight line. And uh, let's go through. Say, a particle starts with initial velocity. That means this is initial velocity u. Accelerates uniformly with a for t second until it achieves the final velocity v and the total distance travel is s. I'm going to convert this into a graph. Okay, into a graph. Ready? Now watch. A velocity time graph. A velocity time graph. Starting with... Okay? A particle starts with initial. When initial means when the time is zero. When the time is zero, it starts with u. U. And accelerates uniformly. Now, can you remember just now? I told you that. I told you that if the gradient is a straight line, if the gradient is a straight line, meaning it is a constant acceleration. So, increasing constantly with acceleration, uniform acceleration, until it achieves a final velocity v. A final velocity v. And all this happened in T second. And the total distance travel is S. And that will be the area. Because we know that the area, the area will give us, so there are two information here. Area gives us S, the total displacement. And then now, let's derive out. First of all, if you look at the diagram of the graph, the first thing is, what is the definition of acceleration here? Now, acceleration is the gradient. Acceleration gives you the gradient of this graph. So, acceleration of this graph will be from here. This gradient is... This length is what? V minus U. And this part is the T. So your gradient is V minus U over the Y axis. The X axis is T. That is where I have what we got just now, the formula for acceleration. So acceleration is this. Cross multiply. A is V minus U over t, cross multiply over 1, v minus u is at, v equal, I bring the negative u over the other side, when I bring the negative u over the other side, then you get u plus at. So I'm going to name this as the first equation of motion. And the second equation of motion will be from the area. The area. Alright? Now, let's look at the area. Since we know that this area is what? This area is a trapezium. Area of this trapezium. Area of this trapezium is S. That gives you displacement. Alright? Now, this is a trapezium. If I were to draw it out, if I were to draw it out, the height here is T, this part is U, this part is V. Can you follow? So, what is the area of a trapezium? Area of a trapezium is half times T times U plus V equals to S. Can you follow? Half times height times total of the parallel lines. So here, I will get one formula, S equals to U plus V over to T. Correct or not? U plus V over to T. This will be called the second formula of 
equation of motion. With this, we're going to get two more equations. So I have the first equation, V equals to U plus AT. I have the second equation, S equals to U plus V over 2T. Right? Now, from here, what I'm going to do now is, I have these two equations, I'm going to form one more. Look here. From 1 and 2, from 1 and 2, all right, what I'm going to do is, uh, I am now going to find the time from here. Watch. From equation number 1, from equation number 1, V minus U equals to AT. Correct or not? I bring the U over that side. And then, what is your T? My T will be what? V minus U divided by A. And with this, I am now going to substitute into equation number 2. Because my equation number 2 is S equals to U plus V divided by 2T. So I am now going to put all my T into here. Can you follow? All my T's into here. That will give you S is equals to U plus V over 2 times. So what is your T? Your T is V minus U over A. Can you follow? Alright, from here, I'm going to put over 1, cross multiply. When I cross multiply, then, when I cross multiply, instead of writing, instead of writing uh, U plus V, I can write V plus U because addition you can change. So, V plus U times V minus U, these two, cross multiply times 1, equal S times 2 times A is 2AS. Can you follow? You see my finger? S times 2 times A, 2AS, U plus V times V minus U times 1 is this. And uh, is this very familiar to you in your uh, expansion of algebra? V plus U times V minus U is what? V squared minus u square equals to 2as and from here when i bring the negative u over the other side then you will get v square equals to u square plus 2as this is my third equation of motion so you see i have already got i've already got a uh, Three equation of motion, one, two, and three. And the last one, the last one, okay, the last one will be from equation number two again. From equation number two, okay, I am now going to use S equals to U plus V over 2T, whereby... What is your V? Your V from the second equation, since my second from the first equation, V is equal to U plus AT. I'm going to put the V inside from the first equation. So S is equal to U plus, what is the V that I'm going to substitute? The V is this, U plus a t and the t is here over 2 all right so now s u plus u 2u plus a t and the t over 2 all right so now i continue further i continue further i open the bracket times in and divide individually S equals to 2U times T. 2U T over 2 plus A T times T. A T square over 2. So I simplify S equals to 2 and 2 cancel. U T plus half A T square. This is called the fourth formula of the 
motion. So altogether, I have four. You see, I'm going to write it out all together again. So this is the first one, the second one, and the third one. Follow?